Uh, okay, well, hello everybody. My name is Maria Alejandra. I'm Partner Marketing Manager at IUV, and I'm very happy uh, to be here hosting uh, this the first RSK ecosystem update of the 2022. Uh, so for those of you who are new, this is a space where new projects on RSK present themselves uh, to our you know, growing community. Uh, so very quickly, I want to introduce the projects and the speakers that uh, we'll be presenting today, right? So first, we are having uh, Fernando Pandeiro, uh, the CEO at Teeth Health, uh, a health uh, a healthcare decentralized ecosystem that uses both RSK and NFTs uh, to provide digital identity management solutions to patients so they can uh, gain back control uh, over their medical records. Uh, secondly, we're going to have Stuart Jackson, Head of Sales Engineering at Fireblocks, um, uh, the go-to platform for institutions that want to engage in the DeFi world, and they want to do it in a very secure way. Uh, so very excited uh, to hear about um, more about Fireblocks. Uh, third, we're going to have Jacques Whale, uh, Whale, sorry, uh, the business development uh, team at Ramp Network, a crypto fiat gateway, a platform that enables people to buy crypto directly from their wallets or, or from one of the DApps that are part of the RAM network, right? Uh, right now, uh, they are growing very fast, so uh, very interested as well on hearing more about RAM network. Last but not least uh, is Ryan from API3, a project that's gonna that's presenting right now a different approach uh, to the need of DeFi projects of having off-chain data, right? So very excited about hearing this uh, new uh, DAPI or decentralized APIs proposal. Okay, uh, so uh, let's start with T. Federico, the space is yours. Alejandra, okay, well, thank you. Thank you for, for allowing me to, to present our, our, our project. So just to reconfirm, you, you can hear me, correct? Yes, I can hear you. All right, great. Great. So I'll start um, talking, talking a little bit about our, our core company. It's called Rocket Hub. Uh, and just just in terms of, of, of our host, I'm, I'm CEO and founder of, of, of Rocket Hub. Um, through, through me, you can I can show you how... how how uh, it works, all of our hubs that, that we manage in terms of our, our uh, business ecosystems. We can talk about partnerships or anything anything that you want. So uh, what we're going to review today, in a very macro level, it's it's the review of Rocket Hub, our methodology, our, our, what, what, what we like to call our hubs, but especially our business business units. And then we can, we go through the uh, uh, what we like to call our metative X. That's our architecture where we involve NFTs, uh, blockchain through through uh, medical identities. And then we can do a, a quick a quick demo. So uh, we as a company we are innovation hub. So we, we focus on on solving global significant challenge through innovative solutions. And we have two main business verticals. One of them is what we like to call health and wellness. Here, where we we uh, go through 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 our our, our brand that's called Tip Health. Tip in in a Hmong language means means hope and light. So that's why we want to provide to to, to everyone uh, in, in terms of their health. And the other one is it's a, a payments and crypto wallet that's called Rocket Pay. So through that, now we're going to only to review the Tip Health vertical, but that's that's what we do. It's uh, health and wellness, and then we we go through payments and and crypto wallets. So in terms of our methodology, we, we everything that we do, it's it's uh, user centric, 100 percent user centric. So everything we build is through the user and through the user, we build all of our ecosystems and infrastructure. And through that infrastructure, then we build services and products. So we've been doing this for almost 10 years. And um, in terms of our, our, our business hubs or, or units, uh, we, we we have, like I said, we have TIP and then we have Rocket Pay. So everything that you see in terms of TIP, it's focused on health tech. If you see here, there's, there's, a, there's a yellow type of different colors. So these three in the upper level is what we'd like to call the trilogy of healthcare. So we focus on, on putting together patients and doctors. Uh, we also have uh, on-demand services in terms of, of healthcare services and uh, emergency type of healthcare services. So through, through all that, we have a, a main type of, of, um, of access that's focused on creating uh, a unique digital identity using NFTs that we'll see in a minute. 
but now we have uh, these seven verticals um, in terms of our, our company's called Rocket Hub. So, uh, tip uh, right now, we're going to focus on our, our uh, NFT slash blockchain architecture. We like to call that a meta tip X, uh, as in exponential. Um, uh, exponential delay so so what we like to do here is just to transform healthcare th through through technology and of course through through our through our partner rsk we've been able to do something very interesting that, that i'll show you in a minute so what we've built is putting all of the services together or most of all the services or healthcare services together through an app that's focused on on creating access and control through through your uh, medical data for the first time in your back pockets so through that, we, we've, we created also on-demand services. So whenever you need a, a medical assistant, uh, you can just use our apps and, and you receive that, 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 uh, that service. But the most important thing is, is what we like to call our e-health passport that allows uh, not only data, data privacy and, and, and to, be, uh, to have a safe and universal access to that information, but also we are a pioneers in creating an NFT as a, as a sole identity connecting uh, a decentralized electronic health record and, and also is universal. So you only have one electronic health record in your back pocket that's connected through all of our, our ecosystem and all of our the doctors and, and, and service providers that actually work through through all of our ecosystem. It's exactly uh, the same type of communication. So we, create, we, we created a, an interoperable ecosystem in terms of NFTs using blockchain technology to be able to provide that unique identity. And, and we've not only created through art, but also through connection and through, through uh, robust technology and, and, and architecture. So this is, in, in, in a macro level, this is our, um, our architecture, what the, again, what we like to call the X. So here where we create that identity, we create uh, everything that has to do with privacy, and unique and, and uh, direct access to your information. So we're providing that, and we're empowering you uh, for the first time to actually have access to that information and you decide to who, when you want to share that information. So we use permission-based ledgers. Uh, you can uh, activate it and disactivate it. And, and, and the, the idea for us, for everyone, is to be able to have that type of control in terms of your, your medical data. So it's, it's, it's not that someone else has that that access is you control it and you decide who, when, and where you want a third party to access that information. So uh, now we're going through the NFT as a digital identity. And this is very interesting because uh, we, we at, at first, about three years ago, we, did, we, we, really, didn't, we really didn't know how, how we we're going to manage that, that, that unique seal of identity, right, in, in terms of your medical data. So, in, of course, NFT are, are right now are very, very um, it's starting to, to actually to be marketable, uh, but in terms of healthcare, uh, we couldn't imagine we could do actually an NFT that, that created such a value in terms of, of accessing your, your medical data. So, so this is very, very important for us. And it's very important for, for the industry, the healthcare industry, because now we've been able to, to, to have a universal electronic health record through NFTs and, and a seal of authenticity in terms of who you are uh, as, as a person in, in health, right? So, so we, we, we create something that's a dual connection of bi-directional consents. It's of course uh, permission and control access for everything you do since you uh, download the app since, uh, until you actually connect through a, through a medical provider or healthcare provider through our app. Everything is connected in terms of, of, of accessing uh, a case authenticity and, and so on. So what we like to do and we, how we actually started in terms of of creating this is, is how we can empower patients if we don't if we cannot empower or, or we don't empower the, the healthcare ecosystem in general terms right so we started by building uh, a, an ecosystem and an interoperable interoperable infrastructure as a base and then we, we, we've been able to provide a service to the patients so i i don't believe if if you have something that provides a service to to an end user a patient if, if you don't have the, the, the equivalent in terms of technology and infrastructure to the one who provides you the service. So you do need to have that. And, and that's something that we built, we have been able to build uh, pretty well. So just to get into detail, this is our, our NFT. So what, uh, what you register with us, you can actually start building your electronic health record and, and, and the doctor will validate and revalidate all of that information 
from from the point you have to download it to well, 50 years if you want to. So so it's digital for the first time and valid and rebuttal it through through this NFT. So once you do that, we have an a what we like to call an e-health passport that once you, you build on it, then you can actually create your NFT. Right. So these are two things. The first one, you can you can uh, you have a, a user ID in in, in 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 a platform that is this number here. Obviously, each number is completely different, and I'm just going to put you here an example. So when you actually create your NFT, if you see this image, it's actually creating your, your unique NFT, and we can we can build it over, actually, in terms of the different types of NFTs, it's 100 times the world population. So this means that it's practically impossible uh, for that NFT to repeat itself. So once this is done, you create that NFT that's unique for you in terms of those type of variables, colors, uh, images, you know, the, the size of it and everything. So once you do that, then you have that art, you have it in your application. And, and through that, you connect everything and the traceability, auditability, and everything that has to do with, with your electronic health record. So this is the representation of, of what we do here. And I'll show you a quick video. So this is our app. This is pre-recorded. So this is your electronic health record, everything. So once you start building on it and you put all the information, whether you do that or your doctor do that, it doesn't matter because if, if the doctor do that or you do that, it's the same information uh, updated anywhere. So so if there's a third or fourth or fifth doctor in, in, in time, it will see the same information and you will always have that information updated. So once you do that, I'm just going to fast forward a little bit. If you see there's, there's, a, there's a yellow button below, that's NFT. So once you build that, that your, your first e-health passport, then you're going to be able to click on that on that icon here. So it will actually create that NFT. I'm going to continue forwarding it. So it takes a, a little while, but now that you generate it, you're going to be able to see that image that I, that, that I show you as unique. Again, I mean, you won't see the same NFT anywhere. So I have my own NFT that no one will ever have. So... That's part of the, of the beauty about using also art about, uh, for this. So once you do that, you create that NFT. You can download that NFT. You can have access to that NFT. It creates also a, a QR that, that in case of emergencies of, or hospitals, or any, anywhere that, uh, that, that, that you need to provide that information with your consent, of course. You just click on, on you just take a picture, and then you can access this type of e-health passport through that consent in, in through the NFT. So this is, as you can see, this is a different NFT than the one I, I provided you. I showed you before, sorry. So it's it's different, right? So each NFT is different. It connects to your, to your electronic health record, through your e-health passport, and it creates you that authenticity in terms of identity for healthcare. Once you do that, and you can, uh, here you can open it at, 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 at RSK, RSK. And then you can see how the transaction was made and you can actually confirm it has been uh, created. So this is, this is unique. We're very happy because uh, we took, it, it took a while for us to be able to, to create this, this, this type of um, medical identity. We believe that we are uh, one, one of, of, of the first companies in the world to actually be, be able to do that. So uh, that's it. I just want to share you just as, as an overview, what we are as a company, our health tech um, vertical, and how we actually create that uh, medical identity in terms of uh, of NFTs. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, we, we can review details later. Yeah, well, uh, Fernando, thank you so much. This is very interesting to see, you know, how you're using NFTs. Uh, to build digital identities and for a very specific uh you know industry or case study which is you know health right healthcare uh so yeah congrats um i i don't see you know any specific question uh right now during the comments so let's just you know practice that see if there are more questions at the end of the of the of the call so i'll ask you please to to stay of course thank you